Hello everybody, my name is Katema, welcome back for another video of NHL 20. This time uh, uh, we're gonna start our franchise mode, guys. We're gonna start, go ahead and start a brand new franchise mode. And uh, yeah, I wanted to do that for a long time. I've waited a little bit. i uh, sorry in advance for all the lack of videos uh, recently and everything. Having us uh, struggling right now to figure out a way to upload videos. Not a way, but... I've been way too busy right now to upload videos and stuff and I'm trying my best guys I'm sorry but uh, it is what it is right now uh, I am gonna do both be a pro and franchise mode I'm also gonna do greedfall I'm gonna postpone uh, motorsport manager uh, not indefinitely but I will come back to it uh, eventually but right now I want to focus on NHL and uh, greedfall and I want to do franchise mode been uh, wanting to do it for a long time I'm playing it offline and everything uh, now I'm gonna play it on video as well uh, there's one thing I want to do guys is with um, the 32 team expansion draft now I already went ahead and created a te the team I wanted to play as so let me just see really quick guys we're gonna play as the 30 uh, second theme we're gonna select a team well I already went ahead and created it it's the whalers um, I created the way, uh, art for whalers and we're gonna play them. We're gonna do as though instead of Seattle It's art for the team back guys and uh, art for came back as the uh, The good old whalers. All right. I wanted to do something different something interesting here So we're gonna start off with a brand new uh, brand new team and all the other teams as well they're gonna have the the legends in them, you know you can see there's Jagger in the Florida, Gretzky and everything, Gordy Yao. Uh, some teams are going to be way better than others, like the Red Wings and the uh, Canadians and maybe Toronto. These are the teams that are going to be the best in the NHL probably because they've got the most amount of legends in their team. But for us, we start with basically nothing. We're going to start with the draft, the original draft, of course. We're gonna burn Abby Aces. I don't care. Uh, let's keep it as it is. Obviously, we are filling in uh, the hole that's in the central division. Um, yeah, I guess we're good. We can start it up. We're gonna be in the the Western Conference. It's gonna be really interesting to see what we can do with the team we've ha uh, we have and who we can pick up. So we're gonna have owner mode on. Just so that what that's gonna do, guys, is that. That's gonna uh, hold on. What is that? When on the setting, we'll add an additional contract here to every player in a franchise mode at league creation. Really? That seems interesting. Hold on. So owner mode, we're gonna keep it on just because we can switch team only if we are on older mode. I am gonna keep that on, but I'm gonna do all auto owner owner mode, so I don't need to worry about uh, the the merchandise and anything. So you PU trades, yes. Play morale. I know there's some stuff, new stuff in here and there, but I'm still not a fan of player morale, guys. So I'm not gonna put it. Fog of war off as well. I don't like that. Head coach edit lines. No, thank you. I'm doing that myself. Auto coach management because there's a new thing in this game, which is coaching management. You can uh, fire, hire, and uh, scout coaches and stuff now. Um, I won't I don't want to bother uh, I don't want to worry about uh, the coaches so let's just do a regular thing you know uh, GM firing yes I can be fired no NHL salary cap I hate that shit except relocation always always accept relocation auto sign free agents nope no thank you so Contract year really when on the setting will add an additional contract year to every player in a franchise mode at the creation That seems like a pretty cool uh, Thing additional contract year, huh? Nope, I'm not gonna do it. You know what? Uh, it seems like a cheap move. So I'm not gonna do it. All right, let's um, do the settings I'm gonna equip the settings really quick for my my whole thing. I'll see you in a second. Now, here's the two few things this year that I got to show you guys. Blockbuster trade alerts. Basically, whenever there's going to be a big trade or a, a trade really that's minimum, at least minimum important in the league, it's going to show you. 
uh, the trade. So that's really cool. That's something that really was needed in this game. And uh, that's that's there. So we're going to keep it on. And also another new thing is Sim Engine scoring. So you can determine whether you want high scoring, medium scoring, or low scoring during simulation. Uh, we only simulate, so it's going to be... I'm going to keep it at medium for now. You can always switch it up eventually. Uh, gameplay sliders, we're going there just because we want to put it at, uh, what, 9? Yeah, we're going to put it at uh, 9 of injury occurrence. I've tested it out, and 9 is way better than the previous years. Actually, it's pretty decent. You know, not everybody gets injured right away. I mean, it is... Uh, it's uh, more of uh, way more uh, real realistic than the previous years and stuff so let's just keep it up all right I think we're everything's good let's start our career uh, career up guys for the uh, whalers the art for whalers and see where this is gonna lead us we're gonna start obviously with uh, the draft the f uh, early draft where we're gonna pick up players that other team are gonna uh, not want or not protect so let's just see who we can get okay so here we are we are in the main menu for our team we got no players whatsoever on our team right now obviously because we've got uh, our brand new team so we gotta uh, draft our players uh, so in the extension draft let me just uh, go ahead and uh, check everything else first though uh, arena customization I think we're gonna be good I don't need to worry about any of that. There's one thing I wanted to check out uh, really quick. And that's in the settings or the rules. The rules. Penalty wise, I don't want that many penalties. The penalties can uh, be uh, somewhere else with that. Fully healed. There we go. I'm, um, I'm going to focus on the injuries and stuff. We're good. So that's the only thing I wanted to change really quick. Let's go back in the menu right now. The loading is pretty much the same as last year, but the simulating simulation in itself is a little bit quicker than uh, the previous years. So that's a good thing at least. As you can see, I'm just going to show you guys really quick the coaching staff, what it looks like. So that's our coaching staff right now. Not the best, uh, not the worst either, but um, could definitely be better. That's for sure. Uh, I'm going to let uh, my AI worry about that though and uh all the scouts right here now here's one thing i'm not gonna worry at all about the scouts uh they really don't matter uh, and they, uh just like the other years i really don't care about the scouts so let's just advance right away into the expansion draft i figure i'd take a moment to welcome you blah 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 yeah we all know what, how the expansion draft works so art for draft lottery results Obviously, we're very first in the actual draft uh, because um, we're a brand new team and everything. So that's going to be interesting. All right, let's begin uh, the expansion draft, guys, already. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see who had can what kind of team we can get. Expansion draft, whatever. Yeah, I know how this works. Makes a pick. Now we're in the tutorial mode or whatever. All right, good. We got all these teams, all uh, the teams of the NHL, of course. I don't know who we have a choice here. Let's just start with the Anaheim Ducks. Already it's pretty good. We've got Adam and Rick and everything as a choice. Cam Fowler as well. Now we gotta, we're probably going to get better choices because every team has legends in them. So obviously there's better players that are not definitely not legends but can be protected like all-star players that probably are not being able to be, get protected and stuff. Oh, that's, that's actually a legend already. Jean-Sébastien uh, Jean Giguère, guys. Giguère is available to play. I think I want him. Now, if I pick him up, though, he's going to be my starter. Uh, because he's an 86 overall. So, I don't know if I want him just yet. Let me see what's the best available goalie. Uh, right now, it's Giguère still. Cheevers, there we go. Gary Cheevers, guys, 87 overall, already a better goalie, all right? That's the best available right now. Let me check really quick. We're going to continue to go up. Tony Esposito, there we go. So we can pick him up, 89 overall. That's the best option right now. Let's keep going. Uh, Campbell Nove, Stalak No, 
Patrick. All right. We got Patrick Roy, guys, and Jacques Plante. So we can pick up any of these two goalies. The Canadians, apparently, they don't care about these two. They have Price, so they uh, they don't care about too much about any of these two. They already have Carey Price, I guess. Uh, I don't know if I want Patrick Roy or if I want uh, Jacques Plante. I think I'm going to go for Patrick Roy, guys. I think he's the best option. He probably is. I mean, he's the best goalie of the game. Uh, if you count with the legend and everything. Definitely, yeah. It's definitely going to be the best choice. I mean, if they're going to give me Patrick Roy, I might as well pick him up, right? Now, we're just going to see real quick what other options we've got in Montreal. Because in case I'm missing out on something here, I'm missing out on a lot of legends. But none of them are as good as uh, Patrick Roy. So I want to get the goalie, guys. I need to get the goalie. Let's just get Patrick Roy. There we go. So we got our first pick, which is a goalie. We got Patrick Roy in here. Really uh, happy about that. Now I'm going to, if I see a, a legend, I'm going to pick uh, a legend up, obviously. Now Newman, he's a defenseman, right? He seems like a good defenseman, a good enough defenseman. I think I want to, yeah, we're, we'll pick him up. There we go. There's our second pick, top four legend right there so really good Boston we're gonna keep on I'm because I'm I uh, for last probably because on I'm doesn't have any legends or whatever Brad Park is an option I don't know if I want Brad Park or not guys uh yeah sure let's beat Brad Park we got another leak right there well, that's really good we're gonna have a really good team guys okay so these guys don't have that good uh, amount of goalies so we can keep um, teams that don't have really necessarily good uh, players available for us uh, really good players we're just going to keep it for the last we got larry mcdonald uh, lanny mcdonald that we could uh, get but there's also giordano at 89 overall uh, any goalies richie okay well i can i have uh, a lot of choices for goalies really so goalie this backup goalie doesn't really matter I'm looking for, we already have like two defensemen right now. Um, two top twos probably. Yeah, I think I've got my, my two top twos, right? So 86, 90. Actually, no, I've got one top two and one top four. I can, I have a, I have a space for another top two demon. Okay, next up, what we're going to look for, guys, we're going to look for a top two demon. Uh, definitely. So that's what we're, uh, we're going to look for here. Looking for another top 2D man. So Giordano is a top 6. Uh, or a top 4, I, I should say. Alright. Let me see if I got another. Who's got another available top? I know there's another top 2 somewhere. That definitely is another top 2. I don't believe that there, was, uh, there wouldn't be. PK Subin's available, I guess. Um, nope. Still nothing. Still not a top two anywhere. Okay. That's interesting. I thought for sure. We got um, Petriangelo. Uh, McDonough and Sergachev. Okay. All right. Barry. No. I'm looking really for something really good here. So it doesn't look like we got anything special. I think the best option is by far Giordano for the defenseman. So we're going to just pick Giordano up. And now we've got... Um, we got three defensemen, which basically that's my top two. We need another top four D man, but we can wait for that. We definitely can wait. Uh, we're gonna uh, search for, I guess, what should we need next, right? Okay, this team doesn't have that much stuff. This team either, but they do have this guy right here, Denny uh, All. Maybe I should pick him up. Kind of interested. In, in having him that's like a third defenseman or a third uh left wing right there a left wing for the third line actually it's a left wing for the fourth yes let's just pick him up so that would be our left wing for the fourth uh fourth um line so that's good we uh, are looking for the three other lines now okay so we don't have anything here so far nothing important uh, Nyquist, or oh, we do have this guy, David Savard. No, never mind. 
nope, nothing really interesting right here. Uh, Jerry let on Lettinen, maybe. I'm not sure if I really want him. 84 overall. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're gonna wait it out. All right, Larionov. Now Del Vecchio. I kind of want him. I mean, he's a legend, Alex Del Vecchio. Um, Larionov. I don't know. Do I want him? He's a center. He would be playing on the third line. So you know what? He would be a great third line uh, centerman. So we'll just pick him up. So we got a third line centerman. Well, let's see what we got else. Adam Oates is a really good choice right here. Yeah, for the goalies, I'm just gonna wait uh, wait things out here. So Adam Oates, definitely I wanna, yeah, I'll pick this guy up. He's a really good player. Uh, 89 overall, I think he might be, he can play on the second line. I mean, he's usually a third line. Uh, he's more of a third line as a guy type of center, but he can play on the second line. So we got the second and the third. We still have space for a center that's like um, first line and everything. Let's just uh, see what we can find here. Uh, a center for first line. We do have David Savard, uh, Savard right there, or Denis Savard. Could be great, could be good, but uh, we got better choices. I'm pretty sure we got better choices. Actually, Guy Carbonneau uh, would be a great one. I kind of want a Carbonneau, guys, but. He's 85 overall. He would be playing on the third line. We need a fourth line or a first line. So Savard is the best option right now. Let me. Uh, oh, we gotta look for the centers. There we go. Let's look for the centers. Um, uh, I'm looking for legends here, obviously. Uh, otherwise, I would pick anybody really. But I'm looking for a legend specifically right here. Uh, do they have? No, they don't have anything. All right, I found uh, my actual first uh, centerman in the team, guys. It's uh, crazy to think that uh, Toronto will do this, but I guess they're letting go of Matthews because we're picking him up. So we've got our first, second, and third centerman now. So that's really cool. All right, we got our first, second, and third uh, centerman. So that's that's that. We need a uh, fourth centerman. The fourth centerman, we can deal with that later on. We don't need to worry about that. Uh, we're still focusing on the demons, probably. We need, we still need a top four demon, right? We still need a top four demon. So I think we should look for the top four demon, the next top four now. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Look for our top four demon. Uh, we gotta go in def the defenseman. So we are looking for the uh, top four. So we're looking for eighty-five and uh, to up to eighty-nine. All right. So we're, we gotta look for the best option here. Uh, Brad Park, obviously, we already picked these guys, okay. Uh, so far, it's uh, Justin, F no, Justin Falk is not one of them. Uh, Brian Campbell is the one, so, so far, 85. Let's just look at these guys. All right, nothing really. Brian Campbell is still the best available right now, never mind. All right, there's one right here. P.K. Subban is probably the best available right now, 88. Let me just see if there's any other ones right now. This is going to be a video where there's not going to be any action, not simulation. We're just going to pick up our team, build our team up, uh, choose our roster, basically, in the next video of Franchise Mode is where we're going to probably start things up big time. Uh, Pantriangelo looks the big, the big option right now, the biggest option. Uh, let's continue. Washington. Yeah. All right. So Petriangelo is the best option. We're going to pick him up. Here we go. So we got uh, our four for, uh, top four D-men. So top two and top four D-men. That's really good. Now we can, uh, the rest of the demons we can wait it out just like the centerman. We only have uh, one left wing recently, uh, recently picks. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, they show me. Okay, so the centermans. Well, uh, that's the so the centermans. All right, the left wing will only have one left wing, which is Denny All, which is uh, 84. So he's uh, fourth, uh, fourth uh, line. Okay, we need our uh, first, a second, and a third. 
forward line for the left wing. So now we got to look for the left wings, guys. It's as simple as that, really. So let's just look for it all the way up to 85. It's got to be 85 and plus. I'm pretty sure we can find a multiple of them, just like we found uh, other players. All right. There's an 85 right there. Hoffman would be a good choice. All right. Uh, we got an 88 right there. Steve Schott. I mean, Steve Schott or a Mahovlik. I don't know which one I want. I think I want Steve Schott, to be honest. So Steve Schott, I'm going to pick him up. There we go. From Montreal. Actually, should I? Oh, no, because Steve Schott, I picked uh, the goalie. I can't pick up uh, any anybody from uh, Montreal because I already picked up uh, Steve Schott, uh, Patrick Roy. So... Forget about Montreal. Uh, we got Patrick Roy. That's right. Never mind, guys. All right. Uh, let's look for the left wings. There we go. So Steve shot. We got Taylor All. Probably. You know what? Yeah, let's pick up Taylor All. So now we've got a top two, a top two the um, right wing or a left wing. At least there's that. Let's see if we can pick up a, a first right. Uh, uh, top uh, or first uh, second line or first uh, first line uh, li re left wing I can't talk right now guys talking too much Gary Roberts would be a really good one yeah let me pick up Gary Roberts for the third line so we got Gary Roberts for the third line there we go all right let's keep go uh, let's keep looking left wing left wing so we need a we just need a fourth to find like a, a 90 overall uh, left wing if that's possible otherwise it's in the uh, uh, we're just gonna have to figure something out uh, otherwise guys all right nothing so far oh we came back all right so just gonna have to uh, just find uh, I guess another 85 or someone that's really high up in the, the whole thing the chain so uh, New York has Tonelli, Tonelli, and Bailey, uh, Josh Bailey. All right, let's just keep going. I'm sure there's better than that. I mean, I would have wanted Steve Shot, but I can't get uh, two players from the same team. Mike Hoffman. I'm gonna go for Tonelli, I guess, uh, is the other best option. So let's go for Mon. Uh, to I think it was. Um, I think it was the Rangers, right? No, it wasn't the Rangers. What? Where was it? Uh, where was it again? Where we uh we had the options? Maybe the Islanders, right? Oh, it is. Yeah, we're gonna pick up Tonelli. So we got all uh all our left wings are dealt with. Yes, we got all of our life uh, left wings. We need one more sentiment for the fourth line. Okay, we gotta we can wait for that. We're gonna focus now on the now. Yeah, now it's time to focus on the right wings. So the right wings are the only thing that uh, are missing right now for us. Right wings, right wings. Uh, we got nothing here. Okay. Let me just see real quick. So right wings, we're looking for I uh, eighty five and plus. Uh, Ma Lani McDowell. I kind of want him. So we're going to pick uh, Lanny McDonald uh, up. Let me just make sure that I don't have anybody else that was picked up. I do have somebody. All right. Never mind. We can't pick him up. Never mind, guys. All right. It's going to continue, guys. Looking for better players. Menta. Nope. I'm not interested. There's got to be right wings that are interested, uh, interesting. I'm going to pick up uh, Voracek. He's uh, a good right wing. He's a right wing that's 87, so that means he could play on the third line. Uh, he still can play uh, second line, but um, we'll see if we have other, op other options right here. So let's just continue to see if we got uh, better options right here. Right wing, nope, it doesn't look like it so far. Um, we didn't really have a, a really good options. Nope, all right continue case nope we got really nobody huh all right so it looks like the center um the right deep position is going to be pretty weak all right we're going to pick up jimmy Howard, guys uh best option available for us right now 
84 overall is the maximum for a backup in my mind so we've got our backup goalie now we only need a center for the fourth line and two top six d-man and plus three other right wings let's see if we can figure it out all right for um the blue jackets i'm going to just choose uh nike uh, nyquist right here he's a good little player so he'll be good enough for us he uh 84 overall he's a fourth liner so he's going to be good enough for us let me just uh continue to look here uh i still need two left uh, right wings i believe yeah i still need two right wings a fourth line center and two top sixes uh d man rice we're gonna have Letinen. sure Le let's have Letinen um as our other right wing our third right wing there we go uh for the senator uh, ottawa senators uh Duclan, nope he's good for the nhl so i want to pick him up but pajot i could get him could get uh, pajot i guess yeah let's just get pajot guys in here there we go don't there's not really any goalies that are ready to play right uh bukestad nope i don't want a player that's not quite ready yet uh simon it's either simon or or actually tristan jerry i'm gonna pick him up because he can grow uh anybody else all right so that would be that guy or a goalie maybe a uh, bibo nope not really so just gonna pick this guy up there we go next up from the tampa bay lightning there's a lot of players we gotta pick up guys if i choose instead of wilson if i choose a right wing right calvert say there we go that should do the trick all right there's fin uh, let's finish the draft already it's been a long expansion draft guys but all of our players are here a couple of legends here and there and the biggest uh guy that we've got on our team is our goaltender which is patrick uh, go uh goaltender which is patrick Roy, of course franchise goaltender 96 overall we're gonna send to the draft pick all right let's go this is gonna be a pretty long video uh just because i'm i want to get everything done like uh um signing up wise like the signings the the players i want to get my the the actual roster i want to get in my uh, this uh, video and the simulation i want to start it up in the next one so let's just see how this is going to go plus i've got a lot of series going on right now so it's gotta happen right so we got a very first draft pick this year let's see what we can do about it let's see what we can pick up we already know that Semyonov is supposed to go very first uh apparently high elite or elite at least yeah medium elite he's going to be a medium elite he plays like joe thornton he's he's going to be ready to play with us in two years of time all right two years of time huh he seems like to be the, the best option so we're just going to pick him up there we go he's the best option available 70 overall medium elite let's see just really quick what we missed on not uh not a lot not a lot actually so we definitely picked the right choice right there uh only gonna he's not gonna be uh, ready right away but at least i mean we picked up a uh, medium elite so that's gonna help out the team a little bit let's just throw some uh figure out try to figure out what would be a best option right here so two years probably i think yen would be a good choice right here yeah let's just try him out oh my god bottom six that's not good that was not a good choice right there oh well gotta have all of them right now peter schultz we don't know anything about these guys haven't done any points either four years it's not good at all all right let's just figure it out let's try to let's try to think which one uh should we go for right they're telling me to go for this guy which is going to be ready in five years i don't want them i want at least players that are going to be ready right away you know or ready soon at least and Kabanov, nope i need players that are going to be at least ready soon uh braden backgate three years seems reasonable enough let me just see really quick a seventh uh, low seventh defenseman not good not picking up good stuff right here uh overall wise it's much better this year 
but uh, I don't know. We're not picking any, uh, any, anything up right now. There's no uh, gems right now. There's just two busts. No way for, for us to find anything really. Find any good valuable player. We're in the 90. Okay, so I guess this guy would be the best option probably. Yeah, it looks like it. Hold on, this uh, this guy as well. Pierce, five years. This guy as well, which is um, a four year. You know what? He's more of a top six though, but he could be something. He could be something. So a well, bottom six. Not definitely not picking up the right stuff here. The right players. Garbage players were picking up. Okay, let's just pick up the ones that are telling us. They're telling us to pick so. 48 overall not gonna be uh probably never gonna play in the nhl at 48 overall forget about it uh, alexi kovalev though is kovalev making a comeback or something holy now this guy is gonna be four years this guy is a little bit uh sooner so oh shit well he was terrible terrible draft pick it's not good for us at all guys all right we got a choice between these two that are telling us to go for I want to go for the one that uh, so they're not better choices here. The hell, let's just take a chance on this guy, I guess. Uh, seventh defenseman, forty-nine overall. All right, not a good draft pick at all. Really not good, uh, except for Semyonov, which was a medium elite, obviously. But for the rest of the the rest of the players, all a bunch of garbage players. All right, so the contracts are done. Not a lot to do. Uh, the biggest contract I had to do was Taylor Hall. I had to get rid of a couple players that did not want to sign with us. Uh, that's okay though. But all these players want to sign with us. So at least we're going to have them. Uh, what I need right now. What I, the only thing I'm missing really is a 7th defenseman. Or actually I already do have my 7th defenseman. Thing is uh, Venerys Knight did not want to go with us. But uh, come with us, so I released him. But we still have Gudas, which is a 79 overall, so he's fine. We need um, a Ford, a, a depth Ford. We need also five D men for the miners, and that's about it, really. That's all we need. So, really uh, low stuff. We're not looking for big time players like these uh, right here. Now, Mark Au, realistically did play for the uh, uh, whalers so we should probably pick him up you know but not gonna do it we already have our team you know we already have our, we're gonna stick with what we got right now uh right now um max domi is uh was released how and why i don't know why did montreal just did that they are probably dumb ass, a bunch of dumbasses but they did what they did all right, so we're still looking for we're going to look for our depth forward first, which it needs only to be in the 80s. All right, up to uh, 78 to 80. So in the 80s should be fine. We really need to find uh, somebody that's pretty veteran. So I'm gonna, you know what? Jason Spezza. Why not? Right. Let's just try to get Jason Spezza. Yeah, some teams are interested in him. So we're just going to offer him quite a little bit much uh much more so there we go good expensive contract for him and now we gotta look for minor goaltenders or, or minor demon which these are definitely in the 70 uh, 79 should be fine i'm gonna look for players that can probably grow like prospects and stuff so well that you know what i'm gonna be careful here so i'm gonna go down a little bit further so gonna take this guy nobody's interested in him so he's gonna sign with us so that's one that's uh gonna be two right there that's three there we go oh no 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 shit that's uh i, I want ufas that's not good i don't want to uh, get uh, uh i'm probably gonna waste one of my uh draft picks for this guy that's not good anyways let's get this guy as well I think we're gonna get everybody here so we should be good that should be everything we need for the free agency wise we should be set up big time 
let me just see accepted all of them accepted we're good I think we're good to go right yeah I think we're good so we got everyone uh, proposed relocation whatever team status we're good market budget I think yeah we're good let's continue guys let's continue we got everything we wanted let's start this shit up we're gonna go right uh, uh, up to September up to this uh, the 10th of the uh, September usually it is I showed you to match your offer to restrict it okay retain the service okay it doesn't matter really doesn't matter there you go that's what I was talking to you about guys there's a trade right here so Zuccarello got traded to the Islanders and it shades for a first and a second all right interesting oh there's another trade Marcia so and Pat Max Pacioretty went to Tampa Bay in exchange for two firsts all right there's a couple of trades going on right now there's a couple of trades Flashik went to Philadelphia for a first all right that's interesting all right next thing the whalers all right so st jose uh, san jose wants to we're gonna decline that because that's uh giving a little bit too much here they want to give us zach parisi i'm gonna refuse if i want to make a trade i'll make it myself nope not happening not happening no i'm not i don't want these players i'm good i've got my team already i'm i'm fine already i am uh, Backlund and Amalek and Lucic are all, all three of them are going to New York, uh, to New York. All right. Really a lot of trades going on. Evander Kane, actually, they want us, want to trade that guy. You know what? If they want to trade people, uh, right now, let me just see what they're worth. Evander Kane's an 84 overall. I'm not going to say that, but I mean... If I can get something better than what I got, so let me just see what I got as an option. One, two, three, four. No, it's he's not good enough. So nope, he's not good enough. Not interested. A uh, Calgary Flames. No, fuck off. They all want to do stuff, huh? Sammy Vatanen, Wade Simmons. Okay, a uh, Wayne Simmons. Hold on. Uh, they might be interested. First one around store. No, thank you um 82 overall only really no i'm not interested no i don't want that we don't need that that's not interesting at all guys let's keep going nick suzuki got traded to vegas montreal got nate schmidt uh, mark Benjamin doing something i don't know if he should have traded suzuki but he did something that's for sure they keep asking me for trades i'm not gonna answer not going to say yes, guys. I don't need these old players. Old value players. I don't need any of them. All right. We're coming up to um, the season right here. Let me just go to the 14. There we go. That should do it, right? There we go. Owner expectations. Let's go see our own expectations. We've got the, the lineups to do and everything. As you can see right here. So let's just first go to the roster moves. Do all of our thing. So centers, we're going to go, so one, two, three, four. Spezza is going to be our depth four, so he's going to stay there. Uh, nobody there really uh, ready for the NHL. You got to be 80 for it to be ready. These guys are all good. All good. All right, good. And we've got all these players here. We're good here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's our depth defenseman? He, here he is, Gulas, depth defenseman. In case for injuries. All right, we got our two goaltenders and we're good. So that's uh, that's good and done. We don't need to trade anybody. It doesn't look like it at least. All right, the, there's that. I'm gonna come back to that uh, when I have time. So Taylor all, let me just make sure that everybody's under position. Yes, everybody is. All right, so who do I want to play? Uh, Voracek obviously is going to be uh, on the first line. Uh, it's either Lettinen or Nyquist. I don't know. Uh, Roberts needs to go up. Do I want uh, Tel uh, Tonelli or Roberts? Now it's all depending, guys. If I do that, see, it does better. It does better if I do that. So I'm going to just keep it as it is. Uh, Oats. You keep it there so they're all good 
Uh, stall. There we go. Okay. So yeah, stall needs to go on the third line with letting in and everything. Now if I switch it up like that, you no, know, it brings down uh, the other one. I switch it up like that. Nope. Uh, I can't switch it up these uh, three guys. I can switch some things up here. Can't, uh, can't do that. It's going to hurt us. No. All right. I think we're good. We got to uh, keep it up. So there's the chemistry thing, which is new uh, this year as well. Uh, you get chemistry for the lineups, which gives them better overalls. So say um, right now, Matthews is playing like a 91, Taylor all like a 90, and Voracek like a 87, basically. That's what it means because they're uh, playing well together. Uh, Brad Park with this guy, sure. No, 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 don't do that. Can I switch it up? What if I switch that up? That doesn't do anything. I mean, if I switch them up, it's going to do better, but I can't do that. Brad Park is a top two. I can't do that either, so I got to keep it as it is. Fine by me. Uh, goalies, we're good. All right, good, good, good. Adam and Rick, oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, Spezza's not supposed to play there. It's supposed to be Adam and Rick. I was wondering. Yeah, Spezza is our depth forward. All right, so Adam and Rick, clearly something's not going well. They don't they don't play well together. But uh, they're going to have to uh, figure something out because I'm going to keep them together. You know, there's nothing else I can do right now. All right, so we're good. Actually, maybe I could do that. Nah, I'm going to keep it as... Well, they're, they're both top fours. You know what? They're all top fours here. Nope, that's not going to change anything. That does change it quite a little bit. It brings down... Uh, it brings up both these things. So, Calvert on the f third line is better. Okay. What if I bring... No, this guy's got to play there. But these guys cannot go on the fourth line. So, we can't change that up. Enrique, we can't change it up. So, it was only this guy we could change. So, all right, we're good. The lines for the uh, NHL is are done. AHL now. Time to do that. Let me just see. Everybody good? Okay, I don't think this guy is the best option right now. Uh, let me just see real quick. Left wing. I mean, there's not a lot of options uh, anyways. Goodrow, though, is a left winger, so might as well pick him up right there just like that. There we go. Now I'm going to get rid of all these first. All right, we're going to choose our captain and our two assistants uh, here. Our higher... Uh, overalls are Brad Park, Matthews, and I think it's Adam Oates. So we're going to choose between those guys. Uh, which one of these three is going to get the, um, the, the actual C on their chest next year is going to, there is, that's going to be determined next year. Uh, because we got to see first who, uh, who does the most points, who does fares the better, you know. Uh, now we got to upgrade and maintain our actual arena. I think our arena is doing fine right now. So we don't need really to change anything in particular. Let's just see our owner goals for this year. Um, we are a champion team. So they want us to win, to advance to the Stanley Cup finals. They want us to make it all the way to the finals, which is crazy. For the, a brand new team. Uh, we, they want us to finish first in our conference. And win our, uh, our first game on the hometown. I'll see what I can do. But anyways. Uh, we'll start the simulation on the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy guys.